Hello and welcome to workflow training. So in this chapter we would tie the message to the notification. So so far we have been build, building the uh, workflow for the vacation approval process. Um, in the previous chapters, if you remember, we built the basic component. So in this chapter we are going to tie, we are going to tie the notification to the message. So again, this is a simple uh, workflow. We we would as the chapters go along, we would add more complexity to the uh, workflow. So as always, the um, the lab would be available for you to download as a zip file. So here is our uh, here is our our vacation workflow that we have been building. So the the user sends the vacation request. The approver then either approves or rejects the uh, vacation request. Based on it, the notification will be sent appropriately. So, so far we have built the uh, workflow, we have built the process, we have built the attribute, we have built the notification, we have built the messages. Um, you know, so this is a basic temp basic workflow. So uh, let's finish this and we'll add more to the uh, workflow. So at this point I have up, I have uh, opened the workflow that we created before. So in this workflow we have defined the process, we have defined the attributes, this is the standard attributes and we have defined the messages and we have tied the message with the attributes. Let's go ahead and tie the message to the uh, approver. So let's go ahead and uh, um, so application approved I'm going to take out uh, the result type and the message would be approved message. Proposal I'm going to take out actually I need the proposal apply rejected I'm going to take out the result type and I'm going to select the rejected message so at this point we have tied uh, we have to do a couple of things we're going to define in define a special variable that we that you know these are the system we, uh, these attributes are, are you know kind of like a system attribute which can alter the behavior of the workflow so let's go ahead and add one such attribute it's called hide reassign button so I'm going to build this uh, uh, internal attribute hide reassign button. The display name is hide reassign button. This is uh, type is a lookup, and the uh, lookup type is yes no. Uh, default value is yes. So these are uh, special. Uh, attributes that are used uh, within the workflow. Um, so I've defined, I've given the specific use use case of this particular variable in, in here. Feel free to read and go through it. So at this point, uh, let's go ahead and try verifying it. See how far we are. So we are saying verif verification failed for assign. There's no performer assigned to it. So let's go ahead and assign the performers. So I'm going to proposal. Let's go to roles. Actually, let's go to vacation proposal. Roles. Access. Performer would be here in the, in the node. Performer item attribute. So the vacation proposal, the performer would be the approver. And here, the we don't have to, but we can have the item attribute. Performer is requester, and the node item at performer is the requester. Let's go ahead and verify it. Okay, I click here. I click verify. We still have one more issue. It says approved transition. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove uh, this line and this line. Let's go ahead and okay, we remove the result type. Let's go ahead and join these two. So right click and drag. Let's go ahead and save it. So verify. I'm successfully verified. So let's go ahead and save this to the database. So let's save save as database. So I would go with uh, you know this syntax. At, So 
so port is 1521 or any any port that you have and e business data the the database name click ok so wait until you see a, a screen like this so it's going to take a couple of minutes to save it to the database so once the uh, once the workflow is saved into the database you can either query it or you can go to the workflow administrator and uh, and and search for it so you could log into the e-business suite uh, click on the uh, workflow administrator click on the developer studio tab and you can search for the workflow so you would uh, you would be able to so as soon as you click the find you would be able to get the internal name click go you should be able to see the uh, you know the vacation so you'll be able to see your your workflow being uploaded to the uh, to the database so this concludes this chapter so this chapter we have tied the uh, the tied basically everything together so in our next chapter we will do a test from the uh, e-business suite to see how the workflow um, how the workflow interacts in the work in the e-business suite thank you